Captain's fault. That thing. That's an air compressor. You see, guys, today is my little sister's birthday. She's 15. And so I'm filling up a bunch of balloons for her. Check it out. It's late. Again, classic uh, late night project. Um, I'm going to keep working. Oh no, a broken balloon? Damn you, balloon company. Every time I do it, it comes with fear of a little poppage right in my face. That's what she said. It goes off after every third balloon, and I've got 80 to fill. The lighting in here blows. I know. I know that too. This is number two. Once I get to number three, that's number two. This is what being wrong feels like. They're really big. I'll be back soon. So Lay Miz just popped into my head and I've been playing it back and uh, that's just awful and sad. Why the hell did I do that? I need to come up with something else to sing. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground, I spent most of my days chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and just shooting some b-ball outside of my school when a couple of guys, they were up to no good, started making trouble in my neighborhood. <laughs> my mom got scared and said whatever I said to my brother. I try to do as many as I can while it's going. My foot's asleep. Party in the city where the heat is on all night on the beach to the break of dawn. Welcome to Miami. Bienvenido a Miami. But I can't feel a drip on the strip. It's a trip. My foot's asleep. <laughs> you know, guys? Oh, my leg. Oh, jeez. That's not even a joke. You know, guys? When you're alone like this, past 12 o'clock in your garage in the middle of the night, and your fingers are raw from rubbing latex all over them, it's the perfect time to ask yourself the big questions and to contemplate the deep things in life. Like, as I sit here, I find myself thinking, where am I going to be in the next two years? Are these videos worth anything? Probably not. I'm filling balloons. Who am I going to be? Am I? Who am I? I don't know. I guess I have a lot of things to ponder. My sister's gonna freak out when she wakes up in the morning surrounded by all these balloons. I'm so excited. They're huge. But they tie so easily. Thank God. Last three! Yay! I did it again. I think I came up with an idea that was just too crazy. But then I tried to execute on it. And now I'm blockaded into my garage by a mass full of balloons. Part two of this mission is to take the balloons into her room without them popping. Wish me luck. I'm off. Ah, let's go into the balloons. Ah! I already popped one. Why didn't you stop me? Why didn't you stop me? We haven't even left the garage yet and we've already had three casualties. I don't know where their corpses are. It's just not fair. They never got to achieve their purpose or anything. They've only been alive for so long. Goodbye, fair balloons. I'm sorry I treated you with slightly more aggression than I treated the other ones and thus made you pop against sharp metal objects in my garage. I never meant for anything like that to happen. I hope you'll believe me. If they don't, I might be in grave danger. What's up guys? It's me. I'm walking back and forth and DK things to her room. I'm just gonna leave you here. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. The journey is dark and treacherous. Only one balloon need pop, and the jig will be completely up. She's sleeping in the middle of the room, it's insane. So, the air conditioning turned off and there's no sound. So even the lightest footsteps make lots of noise. phone in 
succeed in surprising her. I think. We'll find out in about two hours when she wakes up. You guys made it so much more fun for me and my sister once she finds out that I have this video and everything. So, thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of it. And I hope that you comment and tell me stuff and that, you know, you'll be part of more of my silly ideas and adventures and, and things of the future. Alright guys, this conclusion has gone on long enough. Just click here to subscribe. Uh, I hope I've figured this out by now and that there's actually a button over my shoulder. Um, but anyways, I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to my video. Oh my gosh, this is so awkward. <laughs> it's just so late in the morning that it's like hard to speak loudly uh, and energetically, but it's also like the best time to record. Here, I have the non-biodegradable toxic remains of three great balloons. Fun fact from the editor's chair is that latex is actually biodegradable and it turns out it does not pollute our landfills. It just uh, turns, it's made from tree sap. So it just goes right back to being uh, nutrients for the soil, I guess. Uh, it's just not a problem. So definitely not toxic. Very nice. <laughs>